It's like a chip. Oh, my goodness. This is something. True love, we could sell this. Mm. We're starting off in the cupboard, everybody. Why? Because here is my list of food that I eat in a day. I'm missing a few things, so I'm going to zip off to, yes, our favorite store, Trader Joe's. Shout out to Trader Joe's. Pick up a few goods, and we're running you through one four zero one four zero that is how many miles i have ran over the past two weeks uh per week okay so 280 miles over two weeks and actually my, my brother texted me yesterday and asked like seth how are the legs feeling after another big volume week and what did i write back hold on let me just see i basically wrote back feeling good um hold on I wrote back feeling good, no niggles, just trying to get speed in when the snow isn't lingering. Yes, it snowed again last night, planning on 400 repeats as soon as possible. What fuel am I putting into the body to make it happen? Huge, huge success. Oh my. It's gonna be interesting to see, it's gonna be interesting to see what I have added to what I eat on a daily basis uh, compared to two or three months ago. I've definitely added a few things just based off of what I uh, uh, was reminded of inside the store there. Just uh, updating my list. I'm being raw and real, just like yesterday in the car after the 20 mile run that didn't go off as planned. Raw and real here. Uh, we are, so Misfits, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. It's a fruit and veggie delivery service to the house for Misfit. Anyway, I'll explain once the box, it should arrive in the next couple hours here at the house. But here are some peppers that True Love baked earlier today and they got a little toasty, a little zesty. You can see they burned. And I told her like, no, 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 this is perfect. I love this type of veggie that is crispy. It's like, oh, so, so good. So anyway, just being raw, it's like you try to make food, you try to be healthy, but sometimes you burn it. This is reality, this is life. Oh, it's so good. It's olive oil, it's burnt, it's a pepper. Did I call it a pepper? It's a red pepper. Oh, it's like a chip, oh my goodness. This is something. True love, we could sell this. Mm. Speaking of misfits, it's here. Stay tuned. I think I think we have a discount code. Once True Love gets home, I'll ask her. She's picking up the boys from school. I think we have a discount code if you're interested in misfits. Okay, let's go. All right, we will we will open this up, see what arrived this week. Oh man, we'll open that up in a minute once True Love is back. Here's the list, okay? And here's the book that I read in college. So many of you know, um, The Calculated Risks. In college, I rarely trained above 100 miles a week. And now that was in 2000, 2005 to 2009, okay? So we're talking a decade ago. Now, as I mentioned earlier, as a 35 year old, topping out at 140 miles in one week of running, it's a lot. And I had a lot of stress fractures in college. Lots of those, those are little micro fractures in your legs. Hold on, dropping things. Micro fractures in your legs. And I tried to troubleshoot and figure out and worked with all sorts of nutritionists and doctors and coaches trying to figure out why am I getting so many stress fractures? Well, one thing led to another and I eventually found this book. 
Unfortunately, it has diet in the title. I don't like that. I wish it just said the paleo eating for athletes, but it says the paleo diet for athletes, just because diet has a bad kind of connotation uh, this day and age. But anyway, it's called the paleo diet for athletes. I read this in college and how to sum it up is that it's it's basically people that eat like cavemen, okay? So you eat meats, you eat veggies, you eat, you eat things that cavemen would eat way back in the day, okay? So you don't cut, um, it's not a vegan or a vegetarian diet or um, it's, it's, you know, no processed sugars, definitely. Um, no, I don't think bread and I don't even actually, you know, the whole butter my bread saddle is going to devastate many, many people. I actually don't eat much bread and I'll talk about that as well. What I don't, don't eat here in a minute. So the paleo diet for athletes, I learned so, so much about micronutrients and, uh, iron. Okay. So here's the list. Here's my old list. I actually updated it, added a few things that I've integrated into what I eat and drink in a day while training at 140 miles a week. I'm going to read through the entire list and then we will, uh, I'll break down a few of them. If I broke down everything, we'd be here all day. Here we go, just starting kind of from the morning to evening. Coffee, bobo bar, fried eggs, okay, cashews, walnuts, chicken, tuna, salmon, that's kind of my go-to meat. Uh, spinach, you know, oh my, I'll come back to that in a minute. Spinach and veggies. And as far as snacking goes, okay, we all love a good snack, chips and salsa, pickles, I love pickles, Uh, hard-boiled eggs with salt on top or pepper, oh, love that, Uh, guacamole, and then as far as drinking, you know, tea, wine, electrolyte drinks, chicken broth, um, and then for like kind of a dessert in the evening time especially, dark chocolate and popcorn. Love popcorn. Love popcorn. I could could eat a bowl of popcorn three times a day. Um, Now, what I don't eat, and I'm just kind of analyzing, this might be more interesting than what I do eat. So what I don't eat or drink is milk, yogurt, cheese. Now, of course, you guys know, after a big race, I like to celebrate. We go out and get pancakes and all that good stuff. And, you know, we have a good time. We celebrate. Um, So this is not exclusively, but most of the time, this is what I don't eat. Cheese, uh, milk, um, basically dairy products, um, yogurt. I'm realizing I don't eat much fruit, which is interesting. Like I'll have bananas, a cage. Yeah, it's like, I'll eat bananas and as far as the fruit category. It's, I don't eat pears much or apples or yeah, it's kind of I, oranges. Every now and then I'll eat an orange, especially in the summertime, kind of interesting. Um, I don't drink beer, not because I'm against beer. It's, it's just all about the gut. It just, does, it just doesn't sit well in my stomach. Therefore, I drink wine. I like a good wine. Now, as far as what I think makes me feel the best and recover the best is the spinach salad. It's like I eat a spinach salad every single day for dinner and it's those micronutrients that I learned about, yes, in this book back in college. Um, it just, oh, I think that's what primes the pump for 140 miles a week. The iron in there, the all the nutrients, vitamins, minerals inside spinach is off the charts, okay? So that's, that's why. And over time, I've learned to actually enjoy spinach salads. Um, you know, it's not romaine, it's not Caesar, it's not drenched in ranch dressing as much as I'd love that. It's just that spinach salad uh, with a ton of veggies. I won't even list all the veggies because we just pack it in with veggies. Uh, we'll put in uh, a hard bo- actually two hard boiled eggs. Sometimes we'll do tuna, sometimes we'll do chicken, sometimes steak, okay, especially in the summertime when I'm grilling more so in the summertime. Um, so that is Oh, and one last point, maybe, um, seafood. If I, if Colorado, like we, we were landlocked here in Colorado. If I would do anything to have fresh seafood here in Colorado, like really fresh, I would love to eat more seafood. Just that lean protein. Oh, salmon, salmon and tuna is kind of like our go-to here. But man, there's so many great seafood options out there, I think, for long distance runners just to get that great protein, but it's lean. So I guess what I'm saying is that I kind of eat like a caveman to a certain extent. I don't know, it works out for me. But again, you gotta listen to your own body 
and you got to figure out what, and it's like an 800 meter runner versus an ultra runner, different. Different, I'd say different fueling strategies. Um, yeah, so you gotta, you gotta also pay attention to what are you actually training for? Is it a, you know, a hundred mile race through the, the Rocky Mountains or is it a 5K, you know, in New York City? So, mm, hello. It's just so good. It's a hard boiled, mm, salt, hard boiled, mm, mm. Now you gotta watch a little bit of cholesterol in there, but, you know, we runners, we working. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Getting those veggies in. Mmm. Kale juice, spinach juice, apple juice, cucumber juice, celery juice, lemon juice, and ginger juice. Mmm. Don't mind if I do. And I will say, if you're struggling to, to transition, you're eating, the patient's game is key, just like in dis long distance running, your taste buds, I have found, will adapt over time. Where you actually are like, wow, this is, I know, this actually tastes good, like to the, to the taste buds, because that's part of life as well. Let's enjoy life. Let's not just, you know, be stuffing food down our faces that is like, oh, you know, you're choking on the way down. But over, t you know, over time, I have found that my taste buds yearn for greens, even more so than fruit, even though there is some fruit mixed in this guy. Isn't that fascinating? Oh, yeah. Question of the day. What food, and try and be as specific as possible, makes you feel slash recover good or best or better, okay? What food do you really know? Okay, if I put this into my body, I will recover and or feel better tomorrow. That's the question of the day. Mm. I forgot to write down coconut water. I've been really, this is a new one, really enjoying coconut water. Oh, so much. Oh my goodness. In the last month or two, I've just discovered coconut water. Really interesting. And it's, you know, it's packed with some good vitamins. Wow. High in calcium and potassium. There it is, salad is made, Misfits is unpacked. Sorry to disappoint, True Love cannot be in the vlog today. She got a little busy, so I'm closing out the vlog and I will do my best to link the discount code. I think it's like $10 off if you're interested in learning more about Misfits. Um, we have a discount code down below in the description. I'll try to remember to post it, <laughs> you know how sometimes I forget, but I'll try and remember to post it down below in the description. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, 140 miles a week. This is what I eat. And again, um, micronutrients, just trying to pack it in as best as possible. Oh, it's crazy. It's, it's taken years, okay? It's not gonna happen overnight. It's taken years to get to this point where I feel excited about eating a spinach salad in order to, yes, wake up tomorrow morning feeling rejuvenated, refreshed, uh, energized to wake up and run. 23 miles, 23 miles, everybody. All right, here we go. We'll toss it to, um, I don't even know, probably another vlog where I've talked to, I, probably a couple years ago, I made a vlog about what I eat, which it might be interesting to compare because you'll see what I ate back then and what I'm eating now. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. <laughs>